Okay, so I've been dying to hear what Bryce had to say to you. As I did mention before, wasn't a huge fan of him on the show. I think the great thing about shows like this, though, is they are really polarizing at the best of times. And there have been times, even I guess as someone that's recapped the show before, where I'll watch someone's behavior on screen and not like it. But what they do after the show can prove a lot of fans, including myself, Ron, about our impressions. Because him and Melissa have made it work. They have a beautiful family now. They've kind of even taken a step back from the spotlight of maths, which I do find quite refreshing as well. So I'm keen to hear what he had to say to you. It's interesting because at the start of the season, people were comparing Tori and Jack to Harrison and Bronte from last year's season. As things have progressed, we've now seen a bit more of a similarity between Bryce and Melissa from season eight. Here is what Bryce had to say about whether he actually saw any similarities. Hey guys, uh, yeah, look, I agree. The way Jack and Tori are being portrayed does feel very similar to listen myself uh, from the parts I've seen of the show anyway. Tori especially uh, definitely has that same kind of narrative that Liz received with agreeing with everything that her husband does say or things he did and it doesn't look like she ever spoke up against it, which I know 100% for Liz anyway was never the case. Uh, she spoke up many times towards me and also against the group. I remember one particular dinner party where Liz spoke up against Beck when she was going at me and just kind of told her to go stick it and put it in a place but they never showed that because it didn't really fit the character that they were trying to portray of Liz being a quiet shy naive girl and yeah I kind of feel like Tori's kind of getting that same sort of feel and from what I've heard from a few people she definitely spoke up on a number of times that we just haven't seen it which is disappointing but it does seem quite similar where the group does seem to be against Jack and Tori like the group on our season were against Listen Myself constantly. Uh, they were more focused on our relationship than their own. Uh, and it just kind of goes to show that, yeah, maybe that's a uh, Jack and Tori are being genuine and people aren't happy with that because it's working. I don't know. Every relationship is different on that experiment. So I think too that after 11 years, participants are definitely aware of how to act to get more camera time or air time or get a more favorable edit on the show. And producers love people inserting themselves in drama and I just think yeah there's it's what the show's about these days the thing with doing that though is that more often or not it comes undone pretty quickly after the show's wrapped up on tv and the true colors definitely start to shine through as like my opinion we've seen with a few participants over the last couple of years there's no doubt about that but uh look with listen myself I think We've just been ourselves after the show and we've been genuine and our lives have grown naturally. So I think if Jack and Tori are still genuinely together and they do genuinely have that bond, it will start the show over the next couple of months after the show's wrapped up on TV. And yeah, I don't know. I think that's why maybe we've developed quite a loyal following and even changed people's perspective on us as a couple and even myself to some degree. It's just, yeah, I can only speak on behalf of myself, but I certainly don't try and portray this personality that everyone loves me and loves everything about us we know that and we're accepting of it it's it's part of life so it's just one of those things but at the end of the day if you stay true to yourself uh that will come across after the show and any villain tag will ease up over time so look people said that i'll never work in radio again afterwards people love saying that but yeah even reported false articles on it saying i was sacked from jobs but yeah look end of the day i'm working in radio now so it's not all doom and gloom if you are a villain on the show and History, I guess, even shows too that villains are the ones that seem to do the best after the show. Go figure. There you go. Go be a villain. (laughs) No, I know. I know that's not what he's saying. I liked hearing that perspective because I think he's right on a couple of things, which is not something I thought I would say a few (laughs) years ago, to be fair. I think it is a real shame when we don't see people like Melissa or Tori having those moments where they do push back on their husbands because I think that adds to the journey right and it adds to the viewers understanding of like why they may be with this man and how the relationship works because if they are pushing back in certain moments or they're having these conflicts or arguments but then communicating and getting through them you can see how they are forming a stronger base for a relationship than what other people may be if they're just smooth sailing all the way through so I do think it's a shame that we don't get to see the women playing that role too and we only just see the men's role as being these potentially coercive 
influence over yeah. their life. I also like when he's speaking that he doesn't seem to hold a lot of resentment for the show and his betrayal or what happened because he was at some point probably the most hated man in Australia yeah. and he just seems very matter of the fact. He seems like down the line, this is what happened, but we managed to put that behind us and move on and create this nice life for ourselves. Yeah. So I can only commend to that to be honest and i guess what happens after the show is what we've seen with they've gotten married in real life they have twins now he has fully moved on from the show that was three seasons ago mm. so he's just a great example that even if you are a villain on the show things can work out well after and also just because your relationship is portrayed negatively on the show like jack and tori it's what happens after and what happens in the moments that we don't see on tv that really matter absolutely and there's some grooms or some people who have been villains, who will hold on to that kind of resentment and anger for a long time. One old groom used to comment on my Facebook post, like my public ones from years and years ago. Okay. About maths, just like so long after he's run on the show. Yeah. And I'd be like, bro, you got to let it go. 